Hello guys, Miss Strong254 here and this is my channel. If you are new subscriber, welcome to this channel. Feel welcome. And if you are a returning subscriber, you always come back to watch my videos. Like, comment. I, have, I appreciate your support every time. And you are good. So guys, today I'm going to give you the highlight of today because I, today we have to talk about a lot. My today has taken me back to memory lane. The days that pond was in Congressman compound and after he had supported Uncle Mo. And as we know, Dimwango and Mara were not for opening a channel for their uncle. Because as they used to call him, he was lazy, weak, a beggar. Hmm? He, feel, he felt entitled to be given help from those because they 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 felt like he wanted help from them and they did not see him fit for youtube so one day came and opened a youtube channel for angomo i'm just taking you back then i'm going to put my point i guess i had to move because of noise that's why you can see a different background. Let's move. As we are talking, I told you, I'm taking you back to memory lane. When Ponde opened that channel for Mar, for, from Angomo, and D and Maro were not happy about it. So they did, uh, the same time they were complaining of Ponde pretending to be sick they did that live live stream outside and they were complaining about uncle mo being open a channel and they said that uncle mo is not straight that he is ungrateful and th that's the reason they could not open a channel for him and Upon the opening that channel for Uncle Mo, it was like a bad image was being created on their subscribers about them not able being able to open a, ch a channel for their uncle. And Ponda showing his, his real life situation because he took videos from Uncle Mo, showed the situation with the family kid wife the household the the house the mad house how he was living everything was shown so to them was like giving them a bad image when they were here pretending to be all rich mm -hmm. so ponde did a very bad thing to show the world that as they are pretending to be all flashy their anger is suffering they did that that live stream together and they were not amused at all so Angomo uh, I remember after that Angomo also did a video in his channel but before we go to Angomo how he said it we got back to uh, to Maro and Dimo Ango when Dimango said Angomo is lazy and wants always, always wants easy money, he's weak, lazy, always wants easy money, take, 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 and not work. Guys, as you can see, the Angomo we know, Angomo is a, a very hard working man. He will work at his own compound, will come back to Mara's compound, Mara will overwork him and he will, you will see some progress in Zoom from him. You will see the same hard work at Mara's compound 
from Angomo. And when you're here, yes, it was, it was a past video, but somebody, a, a lazy person doesn't change ways just like that. From lazy to hardworking, it doesn't happen. So as they were talking, Mara put up, I will just put that, that receipt here after a little time. He said he hates how Mara himself said he, that was about Angomo. He said he hates a weak man and Angomo is a weak man. He said also that Angomo feels entitled entitled to be helped by Mara and Dimwango and being a grown up they they are not in a position to be giving giving he has to work for himself Mara said Angomo is not appreciative he doesn't appreciate anything that is done to him he, he, he quoted him working for him and hey and Mara Senora Senzo said the first thing that made my mm -hmm, he said he was paying his uncle two times the salary that is being paid in that surrounding and I said is this the, the Mora I know or are we talking about another Mora if you guys can remember the salary that was being paid to Alex the gate man not only was he a gate man he was he was taking care of the cows he was taking care everything around the comma anything that needs a hand it was Alex he would work during the day and during the night and if something supposedly is stolen Maru would just go for Alex where were you you were just going around the center you are not at your work station where were you you work from morning up to 24 hours that person doesn't think about your well-being as a human being you have to sleep if i'm working at night give me space to sleep during the day that's how humanity works i work night shift daytime a normal person is sleeping if you work on a night shift yes and he said that he was paying double the when he said double I, I I just go back to the the monthly monthly salary that was given to Alex and I say if that amount is double I can just because he didn't quote the the salary he was giving his uncle so he also complained that things were that time when Uncle Mo was working for him. That's when he was starting his construction. Things were disappearing and Uncle Mo could not explain where they went to. He also said that he was giving a job to a thief because when he says this man, things were disappearing and Uncle Mo could not explain where they went to it means you are the one who are stealing he said also that to be honest to himself because this man is weak this man is lazy this man just wants take 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 and no work he was tired of angomo and honestly to be honest with himself he had to relieve him of his services his duties so he also says that a real man this is the in the same same receipt I'm going to give he said a real man fixes their their lives 
as Mora fixes his life. We all know that Mora, Senora, sense or doesn't fix his life for himself. Instead, he uses his brains and the donors will fix his life for him through free gifts, donations, and his life is running smoothly. That's how you, uh, uh, a grown-up man fixes their life. Some other things you should actually consult us. Because we are, we are going to see is, about that. If I didn't ship in my uncle's house, in that, he won't even be having a house. You know, yesterday I made a video telling people how it changed my life. He was part of that story. You know, I came okay. back home and... Can, can we actually tell them what happened? Yeah. Okay. Because I know much, but yes. me too, I don't like ungrateful people. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, I was like, yeah, own my own yeah own like, own no, own. what I just did to him is just some shopping and I was like, because he has some guests, then yeah. I said, does it? Because even me, if I keep giving him every day, if I don't give him again, what will happen, what will happen to me the same thing? Password. He even yeah. came to me and told me, you know, now I'm remaining with 4,000 for me to finish the windows. It's not that I can't give. That's, yeah. that's really not Yeah, it's because I'm like, if you didn't search to my brother, then who even, am I to you? And like, me, I want to find you. I'm, I'm saying this, even if I you are mine, even if that's not my vibe, oh, I am Me out. too, you just be quiet and you just yes. do your own business. I am Yes, and, and the funny thing is this, the funny thing, my uncle used to have my own job, he would leave the job, leave my generators at the work and go to party. Yeah. We call it Ugeni here. Ugeni. There, I'm sleeping in buses, I am. I have to leave home a whole year to hustle, to do whatever. Who is helping me? Yes. You know, and we have to be grateful. That's like a... Um, yeah, but again, it, it is what it is. It's life, you know. Okay. That, because uh, I feel I feel sometimes people feel so entitled. I am as him. What's the big difference between me? He's a man. He has a dick like I, I do have one. He can do whatever he wants. Yes. What's, what's the big deal? What's Maro so important? I have to be very honest with you. There's nothing he can do. In Africa, we say he's a man. He's a man like me. Yes. He's a man like me, bro. What's the big deal? I hate, I hate this man who looks so weak and crying, crying all the time. It's not That's good, actually. What? Having such a person is so toxic. You have to be a man. Like, grow up, you know, fix things, build, create. Yes. What's the big deal? You work really hard for yourself, yes. then they And they don't appreciate. They don't appreciate. Uh, no. Me, I've seen that a lot. And appreciate is people, even me. Uh, we are out. Like, you don't mean, like, to appreciate by okay. keeping me back or anything, but just... Let's give a special shout-out here to the donation. That's number one. Number two, uh, appreciate when people support you. Okay? Honestly. Honestly. Number three, even if I give you my job, I give the same uncle my job, but things were missing in my, in my compound. So will I still keep such a person in my company? Just because, Just because he's my uncle. No. Bro, I can't do that. Number four is, I have to be honest to myself as much as I can. If I feel like I don't have to do things because I have a YouTube audience, they have to say something. And you have to look good on everything no, and then I just don't. accept everything. And number five, I am a man the same way there is any other man outside there. Men should come out and fix their lives. They should be not be crying of other men's health. Actually, crying men are not good. Yes. Even me, that was. Yeah. Even you don't date a crying man. No, 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 no. You no. date a crying man, you're always in a. I'm done, done. Yes, you have to be a man. Most of those who give me, give me, give me all, all the, the time. All the time, no. I love. Nana, thank you so much, Nana. Guys, we also see Maro complaining that if it was not for him, Angomo would not have started building. Then we listen to what Angomo says after, in his own video after trying to, after Ponde and, uh, and Mara's disagreement and fallout, Angomo had to cleanse Senora Senzo. And he did a video saying that it's not he did a video. Senora Senso went to Angomo's home and did a video and asked Angomo. Angomo, tell the world, tell the subscribers, I want to clean my name. Tell the subscribers how much I gave you. And to build this home. 
to start your construction. And Angomo said, you know, you came when you came here, you gave me this amount to start a butchery because I you asked me what I want to do once and for all for you not to be giving me money. And I said I I like butchery business. And there's that amount you gave me to start the butchery business. I put my money under the mattress for a long long time and when i went to the place i wanted to rent there were issues so i did not invest the money in the butchery business i kept the money then because i had done bricks i thought oh because i want to be doing the butchery business let me start building i started building up to somewhere there then afterwards you came you also give me gave me some other amount and i i continued from remember the initial money senora Sanzo gave angomo was not to build mm -mm. it was for a business a butchery business that and Gomo proposed and said that best best business he thinks and believes he can do. But when he, he was about to do the business, he came to realize ah it's not working. So he did not use that money. The money came, stayed at the mattress account. Uncle Mo explained on Senora Sanzo's video that afterwards you came and gave me some other money and I was just about to finish and do roofing and I ask myself this uncle more used his own brain the money was for butchery business that he did not know he did not do some other person like Senora Senzo who receives donation and squanders the donation with nine issue white elephants Uncle Mo, as intelligent as he is, put his own money under the mattress account because he could not even put in an, a, a genuine account. He took the money. He had not even collected a dime from that man. He took the money because he had done bricks. He started construction. Senora Senzo, would you just come back and claim to have helped Uncle Mo build? sincerely speaking this man used his own brains you could have just found himself because you call him lazy take 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 man you would have used that money and consumed all misused but he used that money to better his situation he started on construction senora says you don't come back to cleanse yourself that you don't help your uncle raise his standards you are all claiming to be rich but your uncle is living on a mad structure a very bad situation and when you find he has already started constructing you want to be the one who started the construction no it was your money but it not, was not meant for construction it was made for butchery business although angomos tried to cleanse senora senso it could not happen because we know ponte was the one who created helped create that channel something they didn't want that they were against and even that is the root of all their problems with D and Maro opening that channel they would come here trying to help, shut out a channel they did not open and pretend that our memories are not clear our memories are clear and I'm going to put that receipt for you guys to see. Another thing, we are going to go back to our video that Senora Sonzo did yesterday, I think. I'm saying yesterday because 
I'm doing this video today. If it comes some days after, you will know I did a day after the video. So I saw in that video um, somebody sent small cash, small cash to Senora Senzo to give to Mayugun. Hundred dollars, yes. And that small cash. Senora Sanzo had to go to go and buy because Mayuguno is not a good manager. His manager chose to go and buy still for him. And had to call Mayuguno, tell him I have something for you. Mayuguno was not around. That's they they have gone with the <laughs> I don't know how to call him broke all empty handed visitor that came to <laughs> from Canada because it's just been paraded to the village and I have not seen anything. If he did an appointment, yes. But what did he bring? Just because we understand for you to become, to, for Senora to have <coughs> a moving title, you have to be throwing cash, like Jamaican angle, like Baba gives. That's how, when you, you notice there is a, a, a visitor, hmm? a visitor. But this one is like he could just do the appointment, bring himself. Nothing. That's a disappointment to the villa because that's not how we do things. You come with good gifts. Gifts that will amaze our subscribers. But when you come empty handed, I can only just move with you around making my videos because you know me showing every day my villa eating sweet potatoes fruits ugali it's it's getting monotonous to my subscribers so i have to take you with me because let's go make a video then first we are at my Yugnos because my Yugno is not around as for me i say Maroc called my Ugno and told him I'm coming and because I want to help you my guy my son my first boy because I'm going to help you you messed up remember in that live stream Senora Sanos that said my Ugno messed up but he is going to help him this is how Senora Sanso helps my Ugno my Ugno I'm coming to your home go out or be inside the house nobody should see you i will call you and you will be not available that's how the place should be either he was told to go away and do some other things or he was in the compound but not allowed to appear on the camera for that time because i'm helping you my first son so you have to play my game Senora Sanzo comes with the. I don't know if he came with the. I am not remembering. He came with the. The. Steel? Or it. It was left because it did not come with the. With the. Motorbike. I don't know. He left all it was brought. That I'm not sure. He's, he calls my Yugno, where are you? I'm not, uh, he can't be rich. The wife, the wife says he is at the border. So, Senora Senzo, as the manager of the first son, takes the visitor around. Remember, this is a person who is demanding for appointments in his villa but has no respect for anybody in that village. He can come to your home. He did the same th thing to Nasto. He is at the gate. Nasto is with the family somewhere else. He doesn't even call. 
to inform you today i'm go coming to your place i have to do a video from your place i have to get views from your place it doesn't inform you inform you prior it just a uh, where are you i'm at your place then he does the same to mayuguno mayuguno is not around and mara said to be the tour guide he's showing the visitor around oh this is this is he can't even understand which room is which he goes up he asks questions oh, oh mm, 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 mm. he sees the situation he knows the situation he is not like he sees the situation he knows the situation at that roof we need a slab but there is no money and just like a miracle this visitor has what's the price of steel and oh senora says this is what i was waiting i was just looking for words to give my donors the right amount we need to cover this roof and remember i am not so i'm not also getting enough so i when the money gets to me i will get my 10 percent as caesar i will get my percentage and i will give the other portion to my yugna. he starts with his calculation mathematics of what is needed how much it costs how much in kenyan shilling and how much it will be in dollars for you donors remember i'm doing this for you you have to know how much we need so that in kenyan shillings and i also do it in dollars so that you don't claim you don't understand hmm? you don't claim you don't understand i'm trying to make this easy peasy for you donors and it goes on and on and on and this guy was like hey, i just asked the price of the steel not the wall <laughs> and it's like man since you came i have never i'm not seen you do anything when i'm giving you when i'm giving my donors the things we need and them uh, the cost of the things we need for them to send money i'm also doing it to you you came empty-handed and that's not what we do i accept to give you appointment and what you come with nothing with the situation we are in in nyambanza you come with absolutely nothing hmm? how how dare you visitor how dare you do we have to put you in the parasite section because you are not different from those guys who came begging for views for subscribers you are not different if you don't come with anything you are not different from those people so i put you in the same bracket There is a video that's a very hard video that I came across after I had to go back because Senora Senso was from Mayuguno had to go to to Gabi Vas. The Gabi Vas that Senora Senso talked bad about after she came for the second time. I'm going to remind you with the receipts what senior senso said then when gabby came back and she did not go to his villa and instead chose to go for the villager the village boy bushman dude senior senso was not happy about it and it's like he didn't want this bushman dude to get this white lady although according to senora sanzo this 
woman was broke. But for this the village boy to get this white lady, it's, it in all ways it seems he didn't like it. He wants to be the only guy having a white lady. White lady. So I'm going to play that that video. First we have start with him at Gavi Fath site trying to give opinions on what to do uh -huh. trying to tell donors to support these people hmm? he is asking for donation for any for everybody in that village for everybody without their permission Gabi was and and Bushman dude did not tell him they need donation. So he he went ahead and asked the donors to support these people because the the people who are working for them are overcharging, and he was like, "Don't overcharge these people, guys." And she gave the situation around that place. They talked, they talked. And Gabby was uh, complaining about the doors. They, they have no money now. And he was, they were just conversing about other things. Because she was complaining there is no money for doors, for windows. To, but she needs to get in that house as soon as possible. And it's not happening because there are a lot that has not been done and the mother was like it's almost done and don't you don't you see i'm even telling the donors to support yes and most importantly they can pass anything to me to give you after all the theatrics in that remember he, he just with the visitor at bush man dude and gabibas said he did not just as he didn't call and ask for appointment at my ignorance he does the same boom at gabibas and they are ah uh, ah uh, eh? you are here with a visitor a visitor that did not go to gabibas his is he is his visitor not theirs but he has to take him to everybody he wants to then i go back because he has become a frequenter a frequenter to gabi vas sites i went back and so i remember the time gabi vas was calling senora sense of primitive because he gave sorry he gave some advice to Gabi Vaz and she was like your advice is primitive and it doesn't apply to me and we can see that the visitor that was there then they they had even shared the the story about Gabi 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 he had already told that visitor the story and another year at Nasto he repeats the same story and says you see when he says oh Nasto can buy this land he says oh that land is for that lady I was telling you about that land she's constructing a story building I advised her one two three and she said I'm primitive and I had to block her I'm doing it on live video that when things turn so between Gabi and the Bushman dude because I know these village boys she will never complain to me she will never come back complaining Mara knew this lady was broke according to him and this lady could not build so he was trying to tell his subscribers do not support this lady because she called me primitive don't support her 
he thought he was killing Gabby. Support. Then all of a sudden, after months, Gabby is building and Gabby has put the roof. And Senora Sanzo is inviting himself over and over to take videos to, for views at Gabby's. I thought you blocked each other. I thought Gabby was ungrateful. I thought you you washed your hands like toilet. Why do you go back to Gabby's site to do? You have to use every construction in that village for views and show the world YouTube subscribers that you are the one making all these people build. People you never supported and even when I had and told your subscribers who she called me primitive guys and the sheep <laughs> obvious as we know how they do I don't need to repeat after their master just complains you will know how the thing go how the thing goes you don't have to repeat everything he goes ahead and proposes after she he asks Gabby are you lonely in this village because my partner is complaining always oh, she is lonely a person who was in Mexico not her home place is now complaining to be lonely because she can't make friends she can't there are those people in that village who fight for Mara every day. She can make good friends with those people, but no, she feels I'm the queen. The yanta me, I can't make, I can't make friends with them. She's lonely, and Mara says, "Gabby, are you also lonely?" And she's, "Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm busy. I don't get time to feel lonely because every time I'm busy." And Mara is like. <laughs> What is this? And he, even they even propose to <laughs> create a YouTube community. It's a, like a group of which we believe it, it will be created. <laughs> if it will be created, our master will be the Andimini. Group Andimini, all the chairman, mm -hmm. team leader. We will be getting instruction from our master. That's, he can't be led by anyone else in that village, obvious. Gabby says, hey, hey, I don't like the mentality of these people here. Hey, hey. When they see you, they see money. If you are not giving, you are not their friend. And the Senora Sanzo is like, hey, are you trying to embarrass us in my own video? Hmm? Why are you speaking the truth in front of the camera? And I thought the plan would go through and Senora Senso would convince the, the donors with that video, but I don't think he, he convinced them. Then it comes to my mind the, the same manner Mara is saying in that video he advised Gabi Vaz on buying land in Nyambuanze and being a foreigner that she has to do the, the right paperwork. Senora Senso believes, and knows, he pretends to be stupid, but he knows very well that a, a, a foreigner will not be able to to own land in Nyambuanze. The same thing. The same thing he is lying and deceiving his senior Jamaican subscribers and supporters. He is always con convincing everyone who is coming with good cash. I add the, the UK Grandma complaining, oh, if you were told to buy land, why was I not told to? You didn't come with anything. 
Did you have anything to buy land? No. Did you look like money? No. Senora Sanso speaks to people he, bre he believes they have money. It, we were there, him convincing grandma for a long time to buy, Jamaican grandma to buy land. She was against buying land. And at long last, Senora Sanso convinced grandma. She was to buy land at the cost. But when he had, he was asking Stroman for land to look for something in the cost. Senora Sanso had to convince grandma to buy land in Nyambuans. And at long last, she did. She did. After we came back to Mombasa, the plans changed and the grandma was no longer interested in the land in, she was asking in Mombasa. Senora Senso convinced her that it was a, a humid place and with her age, it would not be appropriate to, appropriate to buy land at the cost. And she bought land in Nyambuanze. The same, Jamaican grandma was not a, a villager, but Senora Sanso convinced her to buy land. Did they follow the right paperwork in owning land for a foreigner? No, the land was bought under Senora Sanso's name. The land will forever be Senora Sanso's land. Why? There is no will that was written by grandma that the land should be inherited by the the kids in the her own kids there was no will the land is in senora senso's name do you think anyone can claim that land in kenya never there is nowhere that land can be Jamaican Grand Mass. It doesn't end there. Senora Sanso convinces Jamaican Angle. Oh, I'm giving you a land after the embarrassment Senora Sanso got from Jamaican Angle giving a million Kenyan shilling for the solar. He was embarrassed and had to play some cards and show his subscribers that he has gifted land to Jamaican Angle. The same same script. That land that land is on whose name? Repeat again. Senora Senso's name. Can that land ever be Jamaican Angles? Never. The same. happens to Dante, the friend. They, Maro and the sister, convince Dante to buy land in Nyambuanza. And they sell this good script about doing a project, biogas project in Nyambuanza. And this guy was flattered and he gave his money, coughed all his money. The land is bought. And whose name? I repeat again, D. Mwango's name. Will that land ever read Dante's name? Never. Who can own land in Kenya? Hmm? If you are an outsider, you can only lease land for a limited time. You cannot buy land if you are not a Kenyan. You can't. And if it happens, maybe you have married a Kenyan. So you become a Kenyan by, that's by extension of marriage. That can happen, you can buy land. But still, on the name of your wife, that's how you can own property. I, that's how I understand our laws, as it is now. So Dante, Scammed. Jamaican grandma, may, uh, may she rest in peace, scammed. Jamaican angle, scammed. Because the million 
has gone to the solar. The land is on Senora Sanzo's name. Big, big scam. Big, big scam. And guys, I listen to that clip where Senora Sanzo is saying that Gabi Vaz had to follow procedure of owning land in number one in Kenya. And I was like, and she's even going to build a story building. There is this and this this paperwork that is supposed to be done. He was against her doing it. And if she's doing it and maybe she has money to do it, it means my village boy, Bushman dude, is going to profit. Does Senora Sansa want that? No. He had to be against that proposal. Gabi told him straight, that advice you are giving me, it doesn't apply to me. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm doing. And today, he is going back to that site for views, to take videos because People are used to the same, 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 same villas scenes every day. Guys? Like, uh, we, we had one madam from Ireland visit me. And then when she came second round, she never arrived in my home. <laughs> and, and up to today now, she's now the one dealing with me. Husband or boyfriend in this case, I'm not sure. I think I saw them. Yeah, I tried to advise her on how to handle village boys or men, and for example, like have the right papers as you build. Now she sees me as the enemy. It's not oh, easy to advise yes. someone who is not. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, you be the bad person. You know, well, that's yesterday, exactly what yesterday happened. she wrote me a very bad comment. That's exactly she what said happened. my advice was primitive. <laughs> so I blocked her. I said, you know what? Me, if I have advice, me, I know this village. I've grown here. I know these boys, we've grown with them. If you don't take my advice, so she said my advice does not apply to her, and that is primitive of me. I have the message here. I, ca I can never put words that somebody didn't say. So I said, you know what? At least even I'm saying it on this video, so that one day if things go sour, yeah. this video will be there to defend me. So I said, you know what? It's okay. These are people above 18 years old. They can do whatever they want. But at least as the person who she came to see first in the village, I have officially tried to explain to her what is needed. Because this is permanent. Yeah, this is a permanent structure. This is a permanent structure. And they are building actually a story building. So in this case, you need to have your papers right, know how the project is being done, what are the terms and conditions, short-term goals, long-term goals. When I told her that, she said, it doesn't apply to her, and that is primitive of me. I said, okay. I actually blocked her. I said, okay. God knows how. The future is bright. So, Nastore, what are...